while Noah's coming up here, I uh, would like to also uh, relate a story similar to what Marilena just told. I, I remember watching once when I was a, uh, I think I was a high school student in the United States. It didn't, it didn't uh, dawn on me then, but uh, they, they hold every year the Miss America pageant in the United States, of course. And uh, the woman at, 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 at that particular year who won was giving her a thank you speech at the end, and she said, I would like to thank my orthodontist, God, and my parents, in that order. <laughs> Noah. Ben, I just did. Where is mine? It's a quite a long morning, so I will try to make it short. But uh, it's a very special day for us, for all nine of us, I think. So I'm very happy that all of you can come and uh, could come and uh, celebrate with us. And uh, before I begin, I would like to use this stage to thank uh, the instructors of the department. Uh, for teaching me the secrets of orthodontics and to all of my friends from the program you're the best and I love you uh, and um, I'll begin and uh, I will uh, tell you that uh, I'm Noah and uh, I'm uh, here from Israel Just a minute. and uh, I live in Hot Sharon it's a city 15 kilometers from Tel Aviv, and although it's very uh, near, it takes me so much time to get here in the morning. Sometimes I think, oh, it was easier if it was in Haifa, but it's not. <laughs> Thank God for that, for other things. Um, I'm married with uh, my supporting husband, Shai. And this is a, a nice opportunity to say thank you also, and I love you. And uh, we have a gorgeous four-year-old Itai. Say hi, tagit shalom lekulam. He's the gorgeous son ever. Uh, and now I will present a case of a 16-year-old girl who was arrived to the orthodontic department with a complaint of spaces between her teeth. And she knows that she has congenitally missing teeth. Um, if we will uh, get a look in her, panor in her panorex, uh, we can notice that uh, 10 teeth are missing, including the wisdom teeth, okay? Uh, she has congenitally missing maxillary lateral incisors, as we can see here, lower second premolars, lower second molars, and all her wisdom teeth are missing. What is congenitally missing teeth? Congenitally missing teeth is a, a common uh, phenomenon that the orthodontists see in the clinic. Uh, it is uh, when a person is, uh, has absence of teeth from birth. A, a situation of uh, anodontia, when the whole dentition is missing, is quite rare. But the situation of uh, a few teeth that are missing is not very, very rare. And according to the literature, is uh, in the incidence of 2 to 4% of the population. So as orthodontists, we, uh, few, uh, we have a lot of cases that uh, people are missing teeth and we have to do and to treat them. So this girl that I treated her uh, has a symmetric face with good aesthetic uh, proportions and her profile is straight and quite beautiful. So we have to remember that in our mind that we don't want to touch her profile. <laughs> uh, 
But when she uh, smiles, we can see that uh, she has missing laterals, upper laterals incisors, and we have spaces between the teeth. We have a diastema between the central incisors. Um, and the canines are very close to the, uh, to the central incisors. Her upper and lower midlines are more or less uh, coincide with the midline of the face. In the intraoral picture, we can notice that the laterals are missing and that the right upper canine is shorter than the left one. There is asymmetry. When we look at the right side, uh, we can see a good occlusion between the lower first molar and the upper uh, first molar. We can see here the five that is missing, the lower five. The incisor, lateral incisor is missing here. We can see the big space between the three and the four in the upper arch. 47 in the lower is absence. In the left side, on the left side, the molars are also in a good occlusion and the premolars are also in quite good occlusion. We can see a bigger space between the canine and the first uh, premolar. And we can see that there is not a lot of space between the inci central incisor and the canine. But the upper arch is very spaced. There are a lot of space because of the missing lateral incisors. The canine may be migrated to the mesial more, but still we have a lot of space in the arch. The lower arch, we have space here of the missing uh, five. Before the, of that, there was a deciduous uh, second uh, molar that was exfoliated or was extracted. I don't uh, really know. Um, and uh, we have a big space here. Here it's the deciduous uh, second uh, molar on the other side. And I remind you, she doesn't have any lower sevens also. She has a good overjet and overbite. <coughs> In the x-ray, we can evaluate the spaces that we have because of the missing teeth. So we have a lot of space here in the upper arch. In the lower arch, we don't have the lower sevens. And I also remind you, uh, oh, I don't remember if I told you that, <laughs> the tooth number uh, 27 uh, did not erupt yet, and she's 16. This tooth should be erupted at the age of 12, more or less, and it did not erupt. In the cephalometry, we don't see any surprises. She has a good profile, nice profile. So what our uh, treatment options are? Uh, we can open space and put implants for the missing teeth, and then she will need six implants. Or we can close the space in the upper arch. She will need only implants uh, in the missing five in the lower arch. Uh, the patient asked us uh, not to give her the, the treatment option that she will need a lot of implants. Uh, so we decided to close the space, but we decided to do it with the mini implants. Mini implants, it's, a, it's <coughs> little metallic screws that are temporarily inserted into the patient's alveolar bone and they give us the ability to move teeth against them because they are, don't move from their place, okay? And although maybe it looks uh, inconvenient, it's a really very simple uh, procedure and it's done with local anesthetics. So, uh, we bonded the, the upper arch and after that, we put two mini implants between the incisors and the canines in the upper arch. I connected the mini screws to the canines and we start pulling the teeth forward. We start 
closing the space from the posterior to forward, okay? So in every appointment, I saw the progress that uh, the space is being closed more and more. The posterior teeth are coming forward. The posterior teeth came forward uh, also because of the mini screws that we put, because they gave us anchorage. They gave us the ability to push the teeth uh, forward without uh, pushing the anterior teeth backward against them. And this is something favorable that we wanted to do because we didn't want to get the anterior teeth more to the back because we didn't want to, uh, to change the profile, to affect the profile. And sometimes if we retract the anterior teeth, we can uh, affect the upper lip. And in this case, we did not want to do that. So we continued to close the space. And after a few months, tooth number 27 finally erupted spontaneously. We can see it here. It was a nice uh, surprise for us. We thought maybe we will need a surgery to expose it. And then, in the end, uh, in the surgery department, they want her to do a CT before she is doing the implants in the lower arch. Here we can see the CT scan that shows us if we have enough bone to put an implant there. And here in the upper is the before and after. The canines were reshaped and uh, recontoured to the, to the shape of uh, lateral incisors. If we look in the arches, so we closed all the space in the upper arch. In the low arch, the arch was nice before and we just uh, lined it better. In the left side, it's the before, and the right side is the after. We can see that we, we barely affected the profile. This her before smile and after smile. So we can see how we improved her smile and appearance. So this is the end of my, uh, my presentation. I would like to thank uh, my family, and especially thank for my parents. Thank you, mom and dad, for the support and uh, also the help with the tie in all these uh, three and a half years. Thank you all.